Hi, I'm Dempsey Pouat, and this week I'm reviewing... <laughs> Yesterday was directed by Danny Boyle and written by Richard Curtis. The film stars relative newcomer Himesh Patel as a struggling musician who wakes up one day after a mysterious incident and realizes that he's the only person on earth who remembers who the Beatles are, among other things. Desperate for success, he passes their songs along as his own and eventually becomes famous, but at a cost. And this film was a total blast. Now, I'm not the biggest Beatles fan, I'll be the first to say it, but I am a really big fan of both Danny Boyle and Richard Curtis. Like, Danny Boyle is one of my favorite directors of all time, full stop. And Richard Curtis is a brilliant writer. Like, he created some of the best romantic comedies of the past few decades, including some of my personal favorite films, such as Love Actually and About Time. And I can't stress enough, if you haven't seen About Time, please go see it. Such an underrated film. Anyway. It's obvious that bringing these two strong talents together would create something special, and that's exactly what they do here. Yesterday is a very special film. Danny Boyle's direction and ability to create a story without using words really complements Richard Curtis's ability to create worlds and characters that you truly care about. I can't stress enough just how much I love the world that these two guys created as well as the characters that they introduce us to. But, you know, for that, you really do have to give credit to the cast. The cast in this film absolutely is phenomenal, okay? Everyone from Himesh Patel, who really is a star in the making, who wears his heart on his sleeve in such a way that you're able to understand that he is willing to do anything to follow his dream, uh, even even though it blinds him from, you know, the the real heart of the story, which is Lily James. She also wears her heart on her sleeve, but for him, and as I mentioned before, he's just too blind to see her love. He's so caught up in chasing his dream that he misses out on the biggest thing that's right in front of him. Lily James is honestly one of my favorite parts of this entire film, as is Ed Sheeran. And yes, Ed Sheeran is in this movie, that Ed Sheeran, and surprisingly, he steals every single scene that he's in, even ones with Kate McKinnon. Yes, that Kate McKinnon from SNL. She is also kind of interesting to see in this movie because she plays against type. She's actually more of an antagonist here, um, which we'll, we'll get to in a minute, but overall, uh, the, the quality of character in this film is just incredible, and I mean, it's to be expected because it's Richard Curtis, but it's truly one of the most admirable things about this film as a whole. Now, before I forget, I should probably mention that this film is actually a musical, but it's not like a full-fledged musical. People aren't singing and dancing the whole entire time. It's like a pseudo-musical where, you know, most of the soundtrack is just Beatles songs, and some of them are performed throughout the film, but, uh, Every time a song is played, it kind of corresponds to what's happening uh, in the plot, which I thought was really well done. I thought that was an interesting choice, and it definitely helped move the story along. Um, and as I mentioned before, I wasn't the biggest Beatles fan, or I'm not the biggest Beatles fan, but I cannot lie, I left the theater humming and bopping my head because, you know, some of the songs are catchy, and some of the, the rendition, some of the covers featured in the film were honestly just as soulful as some of the original Beatles recordings. Now, I really love this film, I did. However, there were a couple of things that just didn't work for me. One of them I mentioned just a minute ago, that being Kate McKinnon's character. Now, don't get me wrong, I like Kate McKinnon. I really think she's funny on SNL. I, I, I like some of her comedic work on the side. I've seen her in some things before SNL. Um, and honestly, her acting has never really stood out to me, but I, I mean, there, not to say that there's no room for improvement, but here, I thought that she was gonna not get out of the park, especially when I saw the direction that her character was taking towards being an antagonist. And it felt to me like she just relied too heavily on some of the mannerisms and Kate McKinnon idiosyncrasies that we're used to seeing on SNL, um, and she applied them too much to this character. like. Uh, it almost seemed at some points that she was just phoning it in and it just didn't work for me. I'll just be very honest. Um, not to say that she's all bad in this movie. She just wasn't as good as I thought that she could be, if that makes sense. Now, the second thing that I didn't really like about the film, and it's not that I didn't like it, it's just that I thought it could have been done a whole lot better, and that's the third act. 
The whole rest of the film is so well done and so well paced, but when you get to the third act, it kind of feels so rushed, almost as if the film is just trying to rush to resolve things, even though not everything's really resolved by the end of it. Um, and yeah, the, the film's pretty close to two hours, but I still felt like they could have spent a couple more minutes to kind of even the pace and make sure everything kind of, you know, fell into place correctly. Like, so many things happen within like the last 15, 20 minutes that I felt could have been spaced out a little better. That's all I'm saying. But despite those two things, I still really enjoyed this film. I mean, to call it the feel-good film of summer would be an understatement, okay? Yesterday is the heartwarming and humorous musical that you did not know you needed. Its story and message are just as infectious as its soundtrack. And honestly, it's one of my favorite films of the year so far. And for that, I'm gonna give it four and a half stars. Excellent! <laughs> Guys, thanks so much for watching. As always, if you like this video, hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, I'd ask you please subscribe. I post new videos weekly and I've got tons of new stuff coming out both this week and next week. You don't wanna miss it. So make sure you stay tuned. Now, if you happen to see the movie and you liked it or you didn't like it, talk to me. I'd love to listen to what you guys have to say. I really am eager to see what other people thought about this. Um, and I'll respond, okay? I know that's like a weird perk, but I will respond. I always respond. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching once again. It really does mean the world to me that you take the time out of your day to view these videos. Um, and I love making them for you. So I should probably get back to work. Until next time. I'm Dempsey Pilat. Take care.